Today, boys and girls, you are going to learn how to match an analog clock to a digital clock. Follow the bunny tracks to complete your math lesson. Take a look at this clock. What do you see on this clock? If you said, I see a clock face, hour hand, and a minute hand, you are correct. Arthur says the clock says six o'clock. Do you agree or disagree with Arthur? Turn and tell someone at home. If you said I disagree, you are correct. The hour hand is in between the 12 and the one. The minute hand is pointing directly at the six. When we tell time, we look at the hour hand first. This hour hand is between two numbers. That means it is between 12 o'clock and the one o'clock hour. The hour hand has not yet touched the one, so we say the hour is still 12. This clock shows it is half past 12 or 12.30. You did a great job teaching Arthur about telling time. He is sure that he is going to read this clock correctly. He said the clock shows 4.30. Tell how you know if Arthur is correct or not. Turn and tell someone at home your answer. If you noticed that the hour hand is in between the four and the five, the hour is still four. The time on this clock is half past four or 4.30. Arthur was correct. Yay, Arthur. Now, take a look at these analog clocks. Which of these analog clocks has the minute hand pointing directly to the 12? Turn and tell someone at home which of these clocks have the minute hand pointing directly to the 12. If you said the purple and red clock, you are correct. Give yourself a pat on the back. Now, look at the clocks again. Which of these clocks have the minute hand pointing directly to the six? Turn and tell someone at home which of these clocks have the minute hand pointing directly to the six. If you said the yellow and blue clock have minute hands that point directly to the six, you are correct. Do a little happy dance. Now, Take a look at the clocks again. Which of these clocks have the hour hand pointing directly at the hour? Turn and tell someone at home. If you said the purple clock and the red clock have hour hands pointing directly at the hour, you are correct. Give yourself a silent applause. Now, look at the clocks again. Which of these clocks have our hands between two numbers? Turn and tell someone at home. If you said the yellow and the blue clocks have the hour hands that are pointing between two numbers, you are correct. Give yourself a thumbs up. Let's think. Why do you think the hour hand would be pointing between two numbers? Turn and tell someone at home. If you said the hour hand is between two numbers, it is because it is half past the hour. You are correct. Okay, let's look at these clocks one more time. Let's match the analog clocks with these digital clocks. Don't worry if you do not use all the digital clocks. There are two extra digital clocks. 
Let's start with the purple analog clock. What time does the purple analog clock show? Turn and tell someone at home. If you said nine o'clock, you are correct. Now, which of the digital clocks show nine o'clock? Turn and tell someone at home. If you matched this digital clock, high five first grade friends, you are correct. Now, let's look at the yellow analog clock. What time does the yellow analog clock show? Turn and tell someone at home. If you said half past nine or 9.30, you are correct. Now, which of the digital clocks show half past nine or 9.30? Turn and tell someone at home. If you matched this digital clock, you are correct. Woohoo, first graders. Now, let's take a look at the red analog clock. What time does the red analog clock show? Turn and tell someone at home. If you said seven o'clock, you are correct. Now, which of the digital clocks show seven o'clock? Turn and tell someone at home. If you matched this digital clock, you are correct. Good job, first graders. Last one, boys and girls. Look at the blue analog clock. What time does the blue analog clock show? Turn and tell someone at home. If you said 4.30 or half past four, you are correct. Now, which one of the digital clocks show 4.30 or half past four? Turn and tell someone at home. If you matched this digital clock, you are correct. Way to go, first graders. I am so proud of you. They couldn't trick us. Okay, boys and girls, this is the final telling time challenge for the day. Now, it's time to show what you know. Let's match the analog clocks with the digital clocks. Don't worry if you do not use all the digital clocks. There are two extra digital clocks. Okay, let's start with the red analog clock. What time does the red analog clock show? Turn and tell someone at home. If you said 11.30 or half past 11, you are correct. Now, which of the digital clocks show 11.30 or half past 11? Turn and tell someone at home. If you matched this digital clock, you are correct. Now, let's look at the purple analog clock. What time does the purple analog clock show? Turn and tell someone at home. If you said one o'clock, you are correct. Now, which of the digital clocks show one o'clock? Turn and tell someone at home. If you matched this digital clock, you are correct. Now, let's look at the yellow analog clock. What time does the yellow analog clock show? Turn and tell someone at home. If you said seven o'clock, you are correct. Now, which of the digital clocks show seven o'clock? Turn and tell someone at home.
if you matched this digital clock, you are correct. Okay, last one, boys and girls. Look at the blue analog clock. What time does the blue analog clock show? Turn and tell someone at home. If you said 4.30 or half past four, you are correct. Now, which of the digital clocks show 4.30 or half past four? Turn and tell someone at home. If you matched this digital clock, you are correct. Way to go, first graders. Okay, boys and girls, you have worked so hard telling time to the hour and half hour using digital clocks and analog clocks. Now, let's enjoy this number rock video with a telling time song. <laughs> Saturday, but before I do, listen, I've just got to say, 60 minutes make up every hour on the clock, and 30 minutes is half an hour, tick tock, so remember on the clock, 30 is half an hour, now let me tell you of the day that almost went sour. Yeah. I was headed to the park, I decided to walk As I left, I looked up and saw the time on the clock The short hand pointed to the nine, and I knew it was nine When I saw the long hand made an upward vertical line and it hand points right to the 12, the short hour and points to the time we can tell, the time we can tell. When the hour hands on a number and the minute hands up, we know it's so clock when the rain for our sun. If the hour hands right between two numbers per se, it's half past the hour, also study that day. With the long minute hand that represents the minutes go by It's easy to tell time and to soon see why Each number on the clock is five minutes in it If you skip count by five and tell the time, make it split After hours of playing, I took my sidewalk chalk Thinking wouldn't it be fun to draw the time on a clock
bought us two tickets. The movie we went to see started right at six. The hour hand was at six. The minute hand pointed up, she said, "Are we almost late?" And I was like, "Yep." Oh yeah. oh yeah, yeah. And we finally got a seat. She told me I was cute, but I'd eaten beans for lunch and let out a loud toot. Oh, no, 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 no. 12, 30, 1, 32, 33, 34, 35, 30. 6, 37, 38, 39, 30, 10, 30, 11, 30. On the way home, we walked by the fishing dock. So here is your math assignment for today. You will need to figure out the time on each of these analog clocks. Then you need to write the digital times below. Good luck, boys and girls. Do your best. <laughs> 